Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to display a pivot chart in the Blazor pivot table component. Additionally, you will see how to customize the axes, data labels, and legends. Lastly, you will see how to display and customize accumulation charts. First, I will open an existing Blazor application, where I have placed a Blazor pivot table bound to the product details data source. If you want to know how to get started with the Blazor pivot table component, refer to the video attached in the YouTube card above. I will run this application to show the initial demo. Look here, the pivot table is rendered with the defined data source. Now, I will show you how to display the pivot chart for this pivot table. I define the pivot view display option tag and set the view property to chart. See now, the pivot chart is rendered for the given data. By default, a line type chart is rendered. Apart from this, the pivot table also supports different chart types like column, area, bar, step area, and so on. Now, I will show you how to set the bar type chart. For that, I define the pivot chart settings tag. And within it, define the pivot chart series tag. I add the type property and set bar as its value. Check now, the bar type chart is rendered. Like pivot tables, you can also enable grouping bar and field list options in the pivot charts. To demonstrate, I enable the show field list and show grouping bar properties in the SF pivot view tag. See, the grouping bars and field list icon appear, using which you can sort, filter, and remove fields from the report. By default, the chart will be drawn with the first value field in the report. Here, units sold is the first value field on the value axis. Suppose I want to render the chart with some other value field like sold amount, I can use the value property. To demonstrate, I set the value property to amount. Look now, the chart is now rendered with the sold amount field. Suppose, I want to display both the fields, units sold and sold amount in the chart, I can enable the multi-axis property. To demonstrate, I remove the value property and set the enable multiple axis property to true. Look now, the chart is rendered with multiple axes, units sold, and sold amount. Next, let's see how to display data labels on the chart. As I want to render the chart with a single axis now, I remove the Enable Multiple Axis property. To display the data labels, I define the Pivot Chart Marker Settings tag. And inside it, define the Pivot Chart Marker data label and set its visibility to true using the Visible property. See, data labels are rendered here. You can also set and customize the background color, border, font color, font size, and position of the data labels. For more details, refer to the documentation link attached in the description below. Now, I will show you how to customize the axes in the pivot chart. To customize the x-axis, define the pivot chart primary x-axis tag. I am going to customize the x-axis label position by setting the label position property to inside. To display the y-axis values in reverse, I define the pivot chart primary y-axis tag. And set the is inversed property to true.
Look here, the axis labels are rendered inside the axis. And the values are rendered in reverse. Next, I will show you how to customize legends. By default, legends render at the bottom of the chart. Apart from this default position, it can also be rendered at the top, left, right, auto, and custom positions. Let me demonstrate by positioning it on the right side. I define the pivot chart legend settings tag. And set the position to right. You can also customize the background color, shape, and alignment of the legends. To do that, set the background property to an appropriate value. Then, I set the alignment to far. To customize the shape of the legend, I define the legend shape property in the pivot chart series tag and set its value to pentagon. Check, the legends are rendered in the pentagon shape with the specified background color and alignment. So far you have seen how to display and customize Cartesian type charts in the pivot table component. Now, I will show you how to display an accumulation chart. As you know, there are four types of accumulation charts, pi, donut, pyramid, and funnel. In this example, I will show you how to display the pivot table as a pie chart. To do that, I set the chart type to pi inside the pivot chart series tag. See now, the pivot table is rendered as a pie chart. In the accumulation chart, I can drill down and drill up by clicking the chart series. When I click on the series fiscal year 2016, the drill options open in a context menu. Next, I click the expand option to view the corresponding series until the last level. To drill up, I click the collapse option. To explode a series, I enable the explode property in the pivot chart series tag. See the specified series is exploded on the chart. In this video, you have seen how to display the pivot chart. You also saw how to customize the axes, data labels, and legends. Lastly, you saw how to display and customize accumulation charts. If you would like to see a working example, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I have also provided a link where you can see if you qualify for a free license key to use our Blazor products through our community license. If you found this video useful, do like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.